Hi, I'm Don. Today we're army painting. Today I kinda challenged myself and painted 13 models at a time. We are not using the airbrush in this army painting but we're using my red grass wet palette. To speed up the army painting, I tried to paint in very thick coats. We will be using the thinner medium and a bit of the highlight sauce in the painting of this model. Also, the main focus of the video is to show you the pale skin painting and also a bit of the gold TMM painting. I will show you how to use the liquid gold in this video. The most number of models that I painted for this YouTube channel was painting 5 models at a time. But today, we're going to paint like 13 models and try to come up with golden lemon standard painting even if we're painting a lot of models at a time. Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. This channel is supported by all these brands. Today's models were from Torchlight Models. Do check them out at Patreon. Today, we're not practically thinning because we're painting in really thick coats. Most of the painting, I just add a tiny bit of thinner medium just to add flow to the paint because you don't want unthin paint. Unthin paint is like spreading butter or peanut butter over a piece of bread. You want the paint to be smooth and yet thick enough to cover easily, to cover the model easily. So it's kind of weird that we're talking about painting in thick coats, but it did work and you'll see at the end of the video, the quality of the painting of these models. I think, but I'm not sure, that if you add a bit of water or a thinner medium, basically if you thin the paints just enough, they will all dry like into a smooth finish because these paints, high quality or good quality acrylic paints, they tend to like, they have these self-leveling properties. And thus, if you thin them just enough, they will like, as they dry, they will level down and you'll have a smooth finish. Now we paint the pale skin. I kind of chose the colors that are very opaque in all throughout the painting of these models because I'm kinda trying to speed up the painting because we're painting like 13 models at a time. So, I chose colors that are not far from each other so that I won't really have to mix too much and the gradual transitions of the colors is dependent on the paints that we selected. I am pretty much aware that army painting or speed painting for that matter is like painting the base colors and then doing washes. If you want, you could add a bit of highlights and then you're done. However, in this project, I'm kind of pushing my patience level <laughs> in terms of painting so many models and yet trying to achieve golden lemon standard. That's good. Oh, by the way, I always say this in my videos, thinning with water or watering down the paints will work. I just prefer my mediums. For me, key to army painting is using good paints, like highly pigmented paints like Baleo Colors. Of course, I won't mention the other brands. And be wary with paints who are like were highly pigmented because all good paint brands are highly pigmented that's why you don't really like see advertising or post or social media post of paints of good paint saying that they're highly pigmented because that's a given with good quality paints 
Other than the good quality paints, you should select the colors because acrylics in general are notorious for being inconsistent in terms of opacity that mainly depends on the pigments used. Usually yellows and reds, even purples or red violet are kinda transparent in comparison to the other colors. So you should know the colors that are very opaque and that will speed up your painting because you could paint them in one thick coat. By thick, I do not mean that you shouldn't thin your paints. You should always thin your paints. Just a bit of water or a bit of medium will do. And never paint straight from the bottle unless you're using air paints to brush paint. Other than adding a bit of thinner medium, no glazing was done in the painting of these models. I did use a lot of white glaze paint though. It's a naturally transparent paint because it's a glaze paint. However, I did not use like glaze medium or water down the paint so that I have a glazing paint. And I just painted in thick coats and I mix my paints a lot so that I have good transitions. Point being is that we wanted to speed up the painting and I wanted a realistic video in terms of what you could achieve in terms of the standard and yet you did not do any glazing. So it's a matter of just painting a lot of colors and trying to like pre-plan the paints that you are using so that you won't like be stuck up and think of paints while you're painting. Now we are on the second day of the painting of these models. Most of the time, most of the hours spent on the second day was the painting of the bandages and the bones or the skeletons because I had to layer like medium gray and then stone gray and then deck tan at the same time or very like very speedy in a very speedy way. So I'm layering a lot of bandages and a lot of skeletons on the second day. Notice with the lighter colors, I do not mix the thinner medium anymore. I just place a small amount on the side and then dip my brush and then mix it with the paint because again, we're going for really like not so thin down paints so that we have very opaque painting. I spent so many hours on painting the bandages. There were just too much because these are mummies. But I think it's worth it. And I kind of like the look of layering, basic layering and a bit of glaring. And thus, I really plowed through all the models when painting all these bandages. Also, this bone recipe of medium gray and then you layer with stone gray and then you layer or highlight with deck tan. And then the final highlights you could use white glaze is very highly recommended by me because <laughs> the colors are really opaque and the transitions are really nice. After painting all the highlights of the bandages and the cloth and the skeletons or the bones, I was able to manage to gather the energy to paint like a bit of layering on the blue parts or the blue cloth. And this was already on the second night of painting these models. I was also able to paint a bit of layering on the leather parts. I used cavalry brown and then a bit of layering with orange brown. I learned so much already after like during the second day of the painting of these models. And I will share it with you at the end of the video. Painting a lot of models and plowing through all these models and painting all of the elements is kinda tiring but it was fun. However, to be honest, as a YouTuber, it's kinda like tricky to say that it's worth it to paint an army for the YouTube channel because this will get the same amount of views as painting just one model. Now we paint our leather parts, the reddish leather parts, and it's basically cavalry brown and then mix a bit with orange brown. The highlights you could use light brown or you could even use if you want really shiny scratches on your leather, you could even use sunny skin tone. 
I think at this point of the video, this is when I tweeted, I'm painting with size 0 brush and I'm making size 2 lines. So I guess I need to sleep. Quick tip, never do layering or paint highlights if you're kinda sleepy already. This is where like washes come into play or even dry brushing cause those techniques are easy to do even if you're sleepy. Now it's the third day. I kinda like gave up to be honest cause originally I planned to paint with NMM for this army and really push my patience but I kinda gave up with the idea cause I'm kinda getting tired. It's the third day already so I painted gold TMM. We are using liquid gold as the base color of our gold parts or the gold elements of the models. The liquid gold is very very opaque as you can see in the video it kinda like lays down on the model in one like not so thick but in one thin but very opaque coat. The key to using the liquid gold is having IPA and you clean your brush or you add a bit of IPA on the liquid gold as it dries because while you're painting the liquid gold on the mixing dish it will kind of gum up slowly or thicken slowly so you need to thin it a bit with IPA as you paint along. Also liquid gold looks really bright at the start of the painting but as it dries it kinda dulls down so we're glazing a bit of other gold or metallic paints to really push the quality of our TMM. I'm using hammered copper thinned down a bit with more paints like around roughly 3 parts hammered copper and 1 part water and I'm glazing it around the shadow areas of the gold elements. The model color brass was then used to paint over the highlight areas of the gold parts. Also, I wasn't able to show it in the video because it was a bit of an experiment but it kind of worked. I mixed a bit of metal medium to the brass paint and used it to paint more highlights. Liquid gold plus sepia wash or whatever wash you use will work. But again, we're pushing for golden lemon standard, thus we glaze with more metallic paints. For the finishing touches, we use shifter paint to like paint or glaze like metallic, more metallic paints on the shadow areas of the gold parts. Also, I painted with white gray, the eyes, and then painted with orange blue and then painted gloss white in the middle to create a glowing orange eyes for the models. And then lastly, I use black ink and blue ink mix them together roughly around two parts blue ink and one part black ink and thin a bit with water and use it to outline like the separation of the elements of the models. I rarely show this outlining in my other videos because it's kind of difficult to shoot on video because my nose is practically hitting the camera already and I ne really need to focus when I'm doing this. Now our golden lemon reveal. So now what did I learn with the painting of 13 models at a time? Well, pre-select your colors. Also determine your color scheme. My color scheme today is kind of weak because I veered away from the usual purple and gold but it looks fine. Also choose colors that are very opaque so that you kind of speed up the painting of each element of the models. Lastly, paint bravely. Just slap on all those paints and colors and at the end of the day, you could fix them by cleaning up your mistakes but it's all going to be worth it. That's it, we're done. I hope you liked the video. Do like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our Discord community. Saludos!